Eventually, we reached the swampy and plain of dead fruits. Grotesque swine lizards and homo use of the Norfolk domain made certain navigation hazards. Since our arrival a week before, Willow and I hadn't encountered any of the eponymous semi sentient death fruits produced from a genotype of Bamalukian design paradigmata, with the knowledge of the difference between good and evil accentuated entirely in favor of evil. Traveling in local deep light, our appearance resembled no more than a vaporous mirage, noticeable only at close range, at high noon, if then. The light bent around us by field subtraction of our relativity criteria, with inferred visual compensation added. A hundred kilometers journey afoot over the slightly rolling hills at the margin of the plain of deadly fruits was a dried-out landscape of parse, large plants suffering adaptively under intense heat. Our third day in the land brought an intense downpour of rain, sending flash floods upon empty riverbeds with drenching humidity. For a few hours, drink sweat and drip salt into red eyes as the Adama sought to restore itself to a drier, powdery state below a veneer of mud crust. The remainder of the first week brought a few skeletal remains strewn sparsely with a fragment of sinew or patch of hair or fur and distant flying things that might have been actual abnormal animals. These were our closest encounters with corrupted federal life forms. The Bamblet Code is the way to understand how Ben Bamblet controls New Babylon Pat, a power to brainwash and control the world for conformity unto the image of the beast, power to conquer the people of the world and reform them into fops of sadism. Controlling power of a political or physical nature requires interactive, transitional conduits of some form to communicate power and establish protocols, feedback regulatory circuits, and design actualization. Some political power may be only of a psychological nature upon subjects. Yeah, yeah, even that must have been some sort of means of mass propagation. Ben Bamalik's power is, so far, not entirely understood, nor is the true nature and extent of his power a realm that could be universal in this one universe. If that is so, we might better understand the relation of Bamalik's power upon this universe being in time and discover how it interacts with other universes and what delimits his power from the other universes. I presume that each universe must have a certain high level of isolation from other universes, perhaps necessarily implicit in its construction parameters in order to have an identity as a separate universe instead of being simply a remote aspect of another universe. The physical laws and constant values of each universe may, of course, vary, and thus interaction transuniversally, if it were possible, might well result in absolute subjective universal chaos and disaster if the respective physical values differed in each universe were allowed to interact.